Hello everyone, welcome to Bossing for Bank Season 2, Episode 5. Uh, I just checked a little bit ago, and full Vertus is currently about 106 mil. And as of last episode, our tab was 70-something, right? It was in the 70s. So we're roughly about 30 mil off. So we could get, th get that this episode if we get decently lucky. So we're going to go for that, of course. But uh, we are starting off this episode with a trip to DK's. We're ready to go. So I guess I will be back if I get any drops. Also, uh, Revolutionary Mask is uh, free. That thing looks pretty badass. I think I'm going to get that really quick. Alrighty, well we got our first drop, and it is a Archer's Ring. Um, like I said, I think this is the second most expensive ring behind the Berserker Ring, so it's pretty nice to get Archer's Rings. Do not mind it at all. Uh, we're not quite halfway into our trip. We're kind of approaching the halfway mark. Got a three more doses until we're halfway done, but... Uh, Trip's going pretty well so far. Also, I was not lying, I did follow it up. Let me zoom in. See my mask? I was talking about that revolutionary mask. I bought it, and I think it looks pretty cool. Definitely looks better than fucking Gano Helm. But, uh, <laughs> alright, I'll be back if I get any more drops. Alrighty, guys, we got another drop. And this one is also from Supreme, but this time it's a Dragon Hatchet. And we're still not quite halfway into the trip. One more dose and we will be, so that's really cool. Supreme's being good to me, I guess. Ring and a hatchet. So, alright. Well, like I said, we're just about to enter the half point way of our trip, so we're doing pretty well so far. Be back if I get any more drops. So I got a rare drop table drop, and it is noted battle staves. I actually believe this is a pretty good one, and it's only nine. Never fucking mind. Alrighty, guys, well, we just ran out of overloads. Uh, I still have a little supplies left, like, so I could stay for a little bit longer, but to be completely honest with you, I'm a bit bored and I feel like leaving because I'm going to play with my brother, play some Xbox. But anyway, regardless, the trip is over. Uh, we only got the two drops, the Archer's Ring and the Hatchet. It's kind of weird, you know, because before DKs were super nice to me and they gave me, like, four hatchets per trip. But at the same time, you can't really complain. I mean, you get a ring and a hatchet. That's still really great money, so you really can't complain. But, uh, alright, let's go price check the loot that we got. Alrighty, we got all of our loot in our inventory. I still got my creepy, creepy yet cool mask on. And, uh, we're over here by this guy chilling, resting. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. So price check time shouldn't be too bad. Ring and a, ring and a hatchet usually ends up with a pretty decent profit. So let's see how much my battle stabs are worth. Oh, still 60k, not bad at all. Got a few weird drops, like skeletal bottoms and a dragon stone. I think dragon stones are fairly rare, so that's pretty annoying. <laughs> Quite a few U logs, decent amount of water tallies. Alright, so we're at 3 mil before the ring and the hatchet. Add the ring, we're up to 3.8, and with the hatchet, 8 mil. So, not too bad at all. Couple hour trips and uh, 8 mil profit. Cannot complain about that at all. So let's throw that in the tab. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say our tab is definitely over 80 mil now. So, uh, we're pretty close, guys. Only about 20 mil or so to go. Alrighty, I am here at QBD. Gonna do some kills. Uh, hopefully we should make a little profit. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be doing it. Plan to do it for at least a couple hours. So we should make a pretty decent amount of money. So I'll be back if I get any rare drops. Alright, so I'll be, I'll be entirely honest. I did one trip, which was 10 kills. So I did 10 QBD kills, and I got super bored. So, uh, we actually got a ton of like, corn drops and stuff, so I actually should, pretty, ma blah, should make a pretty good profit, even though we only did it for one trip. Let's just check really quick what we did get. This is why I love QBD. I did one trip. One trip. One freaking trip. Took me like 40 minutes, and I just made 2 mil. That's why I love QBD. But, uh, okay, there was like 2.2 mil made from QBD. I am actually going to head to Ascension Dungeon for a little bit. I want to kill some Roriuses because I have heard that if you kill Roriuses, you get more keys per hour than what I was killing in like the last episode or whenever I killed them. I killed the Gladiuses and stuff. So I want to go kill some um, Roriuses and uh, see if I can get some key zones. So I'll be back with that. Well, after one hour exactly of killing Roriuses, I understand why this is such good fucking money. Now, I'm pretty sure I got really lucky. I'm pretty sure that in an hour, you're not supposed to get six fucking keys. But I got six fucking keys in an hour, which is a lot. And all these rune limbs. It's like... Fucking one, two, three, four, five. Six, twelve, ten. That's uh, fourteen rune limbs. 
So I'll start with that, and then a Lantonheim seed. The only unfortunate thing about my keys, I got three of the Keystone Sextus, which are like the cheapest ones. I don't understand how they can be cheaper than the other ones. Like, what's the difference? You have to kill all the bosses. I I don't get it. We got this one. Oh, that one's pretty cheap too. That one and this one. And see, this one's 800k. How is this so much more expensive than them? I don't understand. But uh, <laughs> I made fucking 3.2 mil in one hour at Rorarius's. I might have to do this again sometime because this is actually really good money. Um, I'm assuming I got a little extra lucky getting six keys. But I don't know. When I go on YouTube and I look up guides for this, they say it's supposed to be three mil an hour. So maybe I got an accurate amount of keys. If so, this is this is amazing money. Honestly, it was really bothering me. Like I was sitting there thinking, I was like, I wonder if I got really lucky with the keys, or maybe that is how many keys you get per hour. So I got really interested. So I'm back. I'm here again for another trip. I got one hour of overloads, just like I did last time. And I guess we're gonna test it out and see if I got extra lucky, or that's actually how many keys you get per hour. Well, guys, I must say I am, pr <laughs> I can't even say pleasantly surprised. Once again, we come with five keys. We didn't quite get six, but we did get five keys again, and of course, a shit ton of rune limbs. So, five more keys. This is actually amazing money, and it's actually kind of fun, like, because it's it's kind of cool when like you get lucky and you get like five clustered and you use co uh, bombardment. You just see like five of them get splashed. It's it's actually kind of fun. So. Let's price check what we all got. It should be pretty good. Obviously, it's not going to be quite as good as the six keys, but... Oh, I got the most expensive one. Right at the end, like the last kill almost, I got this one. This is the most expensive one. Um, These two are pretty cheap. Uh, 500k, that's kind of average. These two are cheap, I remember. Wow, it actually still did make three mil. I got one less key and I actually still came out over three mil. So that's really, really freaking awesome. We're going to head to the bank and throw this in. And I think I'm going to do one more thing before this episode is over. Alrighty, guys. Well, I forgot to tell you where I was going, but I did decide to take a trip to Zamorak. And as you can see, we just got a Starved Ancient Effigy, which is fair enough, I suppose. Uh, I only brought two overloads because I'm kind of tired tonight, and I don't really want to... Uh, I don't really want to do a full, like, two-hour trip, so I just brought two overloads, so... Probably not going to profit as much this trip, but it's going pretty well so far. We got 9 Lantanime Seeds and 56 Wine of Zammies, so that's pretty good prop right there. And, of course, we got the Star Danger and Effigy, so I'll be back if I get any more drops. Alrighty, guys, so we ended up with 165 kill count. I uh, stayed for all my food even after my overloads, was out. overloads were out. I decided to stay. We got 15 Lantanime Seeds, 20 Lantanimes, 93 Wines of Zammy, plus the stuff that I banked. So honestly, we should make a pretty nice profit, so let's head to the bank and uh, find out. Alrighty, well we have all of our stuff in our inventory. Okay, house tab, you're not supposed to be there, what are you doing? <laughs> well, we got some half keys, which actually are pretty relatively nice, because they're, you know, 40k and 27k, not bad. Add in all this. These land dives are actually really expensive, especially these seeds, like this is going to be a lot. 800k for the seeds plus the wines Amy comes out to 1.6 mil plus an effigy. So for a trip with no drop, that's pretty damn good loot. We'll definitely take that. Um, okay, well, <laughs> I've known this like most of the episode, but uh, I'm gonna price check my entire tab right now, and then I will recheck next and SSFC just to reinsure. But I am pretty sure I can uh, afford full Virtus right now, so let me uh, let me price check our tab or, or tab, yeah. What the fuck was that? Oh, that must be one of those skilling animations. That honestly like to totally distracted me. Price check number one. This is probably gonna be the big one because it has all my DK stuff in it. Forty. Oh god, my calculator. There we go. Forty-six point one. All right, be right back. Price check number two. Uh, wh which one was this? This has got. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's all this? This is QBD and some Bando stuff. Nineteen point seven. Price check number three. This one's got some Sarah loot and my keystones. Okay, next one will be the last one. 
Alrighty, last lap, lap, fuck it. Last price check. This one just has my bandos pieces. Ten point three. That comes out to ninety six point three mil. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, in the last episode you said full Vertus was like one hundred mil. You're wrong. Vertus climbed like <laughs> Ver Vertus fucking skyrocketed uh it's like 120 mil for the full set right now so you're thinking well you're even farther off then by that standard you're about 24 mil off well if you recall season one of bossing for bank when i had my full tab for torva i sold my old gear as in i sold my bandos and my steadfasts well what do you know once I have Virtus, I'm no, go I'm no longer going to need my Subjugation or my Ragefire Boots. Unlike Bandos, this stuff is actually worth a decent amount. So our Subjugation alone is worth 18 mil, and with our Ragefires it comes up to 25 mil. So you take our 96.3 mil plus our 25 mil, that comes out to 121 mil, which means we will have enough for full Virtus with that alone, plus I have 24 mil here to use if necessary. So, let me go to Next and SS and really, you know, it check the price for sure, and then I'll get back to you guys. Yep, guys, I just checked Next and SS, and it is 120 mil exactly. So, technically speaking, with our tab plus our old gear, we have the exact amount that we need. But as you guys know, I quick sell all my stuff, so I sell for like 5% under, so I don't actually get full value. So I'm probably going to end up a few mil short, which is why we have the cash stack here. And, uh, I don't know, some of you might think that's cheating or whatever. It's like, well, you didn't get that on the tab or on the series, but I actually did. If you think of all of the coin drops you get at God Wars and they're all added up, I don't put the coin drops in the tab because I need the coin drops to repair my uh, Torva and my Drygores and to buy supplies and stuff. I use that towards that. So really, if you think about it, if I would put all of the coins that I got from God Wars and from QBD in the tab, it would def I would definitely have, like, over enough. So, there's that. Okay, well, guys, that is that is it for this episode. We now have enough for full Virtus. I almost said Torva again, I don't know why. We have enough for full Virtus. Next episode, we're going to be t selling our tab and finally buying full Virtus. See you next time.